Dear Jasmine, Dear Jasmine. Dear Jasmine. Dear Jasmine, I wonder if this love is everlasting. I promise not to treat you like your last one. Hi, babes. Hi, boo boos. Hi, darlings. Hi, guys, and welcome back to another video. So, today's hair is from Samba, and I am showing you guys everything that came with the box. They also um, sent these, and I'm just showing you the regular lace, the transparent lace, and then the HD lace. I'm showing you guys how they look on my skin, so you know which one to go for. And today's wig install is kind of different because typically I'll just wear the hair but today we're gonna I'm gonna take you guys through the entire process of making a wig glueless we're gonna start by bleaching the wig and I use the L'Oreal quick blue extra strength mixed together with the Clairol pure white cream developer in 30 extra left so i mix that into a paste as you can see i use a plastic spoon um, to mix it This is the consistency that I'm looking for. So I'm gonna start applying that to the lace of the wig. I put it on my mannequin head to make it easier for me to apply. And I used a plastic knife. Um, I actually just did that the first time in this video. I've never used a plastic knife. I just wanted to try it and see if it would work. And it was kind of working because when I use the, whatever that brush is for applying relaxer to your hair or bleach to your, your hair, sometimes like it gets too much. Like I, I pick up too much and then I can't spread it around. So I just went ahead and I applied the bleach on the entire lace and waited 30 minutes for it to lift. Oh, I also put foil on it. This is just the regular foil that I have at home. I needed something to cover it. It looks like I have the nuts bleach. So I'm going to go ahead and wash out the bleach from the lace. This can be very messy, but just try and get the bleach out as much as you can before we start shampooing and... um conditioning as well so this is the shampoo that i use this is the aussie miracle moist shampoo i use this personally for my natural hair even i only use their products to wash my hair their shampoo and their conditioner as well and i'm going to be using the conditioner for the wig as well so i wash about two times to try and get as much of the bleach out of the hair and also these wigs some of them come with like a funny smell so i'm glad that i get to even bleach it <clears throat> and give it like a good wash so i can get a little bit of that smell out i don't know if it's just the wigs that i I get but most of them have this like really weird smell it's not like a terrible smell but there is a smell so it's nice to use especially this Aussie product to wash and condition the hair because their products smell really really nice I'm gonna rinse it off and I'm gonna shampoo it one more time but this shampoo that I'm using is really really good on um, strong chemicals just to make sure they've given the wig a good good wash this is the ISO plus neutralizing shampoo I think if there's any bleach left in this wig this shampoo is gonna get rid of it
the next thing i'm going to be using is my shimmer lights shampoo for blonde and silver so this is just to um it's a color enhancing shampoo Now that we're done, I'm just going to go in and condition the hair, comb it out, make sure it is like as smooth as can be. And as you can see, I'm using the Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner and I'm putting that all over the hair. I'm also going to comb through the hair, make sure that the conditioner has gone everywhere I need it to. And then we're going to wash that out after. Okay, I'm just showing you guys how the nuts look now. I love the way it turned out. Um, I left the hair to dry, to air dry. I didn't use a blow dryer or anything and I installed it the next day. And um, so let's install this wig. This is gonna be the quickest install I have ever done because we're gonna go for glueless. I think the bleach nuts came out great. This is it against my skin tone. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and put some uh, foundation on the lace. And then I'm gonna cut off the lace. I already have a bald cup from a previous wig so I'm just gonna throw this on and see how we can work with it so you can tell that it goes with my skin really really well I love how this turned out this is so easy like I am always gluing my wigs so for me to like do this and then realize that really matches I don't even need to really put a glue on it eh? I can just put this on and take it off whenever I want without the extra work So now I'm just trying to figure out where the middle is and showing you guys that I haven't glued it. It is just sitting on my head, but it looks, it looks seamless, right? And I'm just hot combing it to get everything flat. So I use my wax stick to get everything to lay flat because I'm trying to get the top of my head 
really really flat and when you go in with a wax stick it helps the hair to like lay down so you can see me just put that especially at the roots and just hot comb it And I'm using this hair oil and my mousse to just like get the curls to come back to life so I'm just putting my mousse I use the olive oil wrap set and I put that all over the hair and then I use my hair oil and this is the Keraste I think that's how it's pronounced but I use that oil and I apply that all over as well and I'm just showing you guys that this is glueless this is just sitting on my head if I get into a fight everybody is gonna see my board cap underneath that looks very very bad because they will remove this wig I am so happy about how it turned out all the details about this hair is gonna be in my description so do check that out I'm gonna leave all the details about this wig in my description so do check it out and um, thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys on another video love you bye